Michael is just like staring into your soul with his eyes. I need to go ahead and crop that out. Hey you guys, what is up? What is happening? In this video today, I got a whole pile of new e.l.f. products to try out for you and to see what is up and see what's worth it. We, we, I gotta say, already we got some hits, we got some misses, and I got a lot to discuss about it. In case you're curious, we have the new CC cream from e.l.f. to try out, the little foundation. We have the new mascara. We got a new under eye concealer brightening pen thingy. The new putty blush, a new liquid eyeshadow. We got a lot of goods to test out and put to the test. So that is what we're gonna be doing in this video. By the way, if you are new to my channel, new to my face, hey, what is up? How are you? My name is Ashley Ellix and I would love it so much if you would consider subscribing at any point in time in this video. If you feel like, mm, I wanna see some more videos from this girl, just hit that little red subscribe button. And if you are already subscribed, well, first of all, you're awesome. Thank you so, so much. Make sure that your bell is tapped and all your notifications are turned on so YouTube actually notifies you when I post more videos. Cause I'm over here posting at least three times a week, all beauty and lifestyle related and cruelty free too and um, yeah YouTube doesn't like to tell you guys sometimes that I'm posting but I'm here so come check me out also you can get some more extended content from me if you want to see things like that like extra eye tutorials makeup tutorials behind the scenes stuff just random thoughts of my day if you want to see that go follow me on Instagram TikTok, Twitter snapchat all those places I'm Ashley Ellix at all of them so I'll see you over there but in the meantime let's dive into this pile of elf products because I got a lot to say and I'm gonna say it so if you're ready to hear it then you're in the right place. And all you need to do now is sit back, hang tight. Keep, keep on watching, boop. Okay, let's first discuss this new foundation from e.l.f., the Camo CC Cream, which I am so excited about because we haven't seen a new foundation from e.l.f. in so long. So I have a lot of high hopes for this because they've been just coming out with such killer products lately. But I didn't wanna just do a first impressions on this foundation because when I've been trying new foundations lately, I've been liking to test it out a couple times before and then kind of finalize my opinion with you guys doing it another time. So yesterday I actually tried it out in two different styles and I will show you guys right now the footage of how that is looking, how I'm feeling about it using it that way and all of that. Okay, so I just did a half and half situation. I used the sponge on this side and I feel like that looks pretty good. It's a very thick foundation. So the sponge did blend it out fine. It looks like it is about a light to medium coverage because you can see my discoloration coming through. I didn't put any concealer on or anything ahead of time. On the fingertip side, because I just used my hands on this side, it took a lot more effort to blend it out because the foundation is so thick. And then I don't like how it's like settling into my pores and stuff that way. So I wouldn't recommend using your fingertips. So far, sponge works fine enough. I'm hoping with a foundation brush, it'll be like perfect. Okay, rest of my makeup is done and I am standing in front of my window. So natural lighting and I added concealer, you know, a topping products and everything. I didn't use a setting powder except underneath my eyes because this set all by itself. It is, you gotta work fast with this. So I gotta keep that in mind, but you'll see it is definitely like a medium coverage with that sponge. I went ahead and did a little bit with the sponge on this side, but it was already kind of dry. So it was, it was too late at that point. It was what it was. But we're just not gonna pay attention to this side because I just didn't love it. And you can see it is pretty matte. It says it's a natural finish. I have some like, you know, highlighter and stuff on, but overall it just looked very matte. So keep that in mind. Okay, so basically we can see it was very matte. It was just not looking the smoothest on my skin. It's looking a little bit texturized, but I'm gonna try a different style today, obviously. I'll be using a brush like they recommend anyways. They recommend using a brush, but I know a lot of people like sponges and fingertips and stuff, and this is supposed to be a CC cream. So I wanted to try it in a traditional CC cream way, hence trying it that way yesterday. So instead of using the e.l.f. Luminous Putty like I did yesterday to prime my face, I'm gonna use my hydrating base that I like. I do have dry skin, so I wanna throw that out there. I'm gonna go in with my Good Molecule Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. Just throw that on really quick all over. And then coming up on the assist, I'm gonna use my Makeup Revolution Pore Blur Primer. This is like a pore blurring primer, <laughs> as you can tell from the description. Well, this is my favorite one, and I'm just gonna put that in the areas that my pores are a little bit more pronounced, like right here. We'll do a little around the smile lines up here and there. 
So just along that area, it should be good. And then the brush I'll use today is my Sigma Flat Kabuki brush, I, the F80, the classic standard one. Let's pump some on my hand. Oh, do I wanna conceal my, my discoloration? I want to conceal my discoloration first, so hang on a second. I'm just gonna grab my e.l.f. camo concealer, the hydrating one I like, and I'm gonna grab it in light sand and just cover up the discoloration on my face because I feel like you guys saw how the coverage looked yesterday. It was like a light to medium. I think this way will be a little bit more full. Let me just put that on really quickly because that is how I like to do my foundation. So I wanna see how it works in the way that I typically do it. Okay, just real quick. Now back to my Kabuki brush, my Sigma Kabuki brush, and let's apply now, doing it that way. This shade is a little bit light for me, by the way. I picked up the shade Fair 140W because the light shades from e.l.f. always end up being way too yellow or, you know, or too dark. So I went with light. It, there was like no swatches at the time. So it was really hard to pick. Yeah, you can see it's very, very light, but I can uh, deepen it a little bit with my topping product. So that's no big deal. The model that was wearing my typical shade, light neutral, it looked way darker. So I don't know. This might be the same situation I had with the camo concealers where I need to use two to mix, which I don't love that, you know? I think they need to work on their shade ranges. I am actually really liking this apply with the brush way better than the sponge and I, obviously I didn't like how the fingertips were but yeah with the brush this is going on really easily quickly nicely it's spreading the product more such a thick foundation like seriously it's so thick that you almost need a brush because it needs to be able to push the you need you need some strength behind <laughs> that blending and a brush is uh, helping with that Okay, that's all blended out. Hopefully you can see everything really well. I feel like I need to work kind of fast because it starts setting and you don't really need a powder to set it as we found out yesterday or what you guys just found out, but I found out yesterday. But it is more coverage with a brush, no surprise there. I would say it's medium to full coverage. I still see a few freckles here and there, but it's definitely more coverage than with the sponge and the fingertips. Again, not surprised. I'm going to apply my concealer really quickly because like I said, I think this is gonna set down really quick. Um, I have the new Flawless Brightening Concealer. I don't know how much coverage you're supposed to get with this. It says it's buildable, so I don't know if I'll have to go in with another concealer. I got this in the shade, what? I got this one in a light, Light 23C. And it's a little clicky guy. Oh, this is so old school. I haven't used one of these in forever. I wonder if this is gonna look too dark now compared to the foundation. But I got it in a nice peachy tone because that usually helps to brighten up a lot. So I'm gonna be putting this on, blending it out, and then I wanna go back and I wanna still discuss the foundation. I wanna talk about how I feel like it compares to the It Cosmetic CC Cream because I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of questions about that. And I have questions about that too, so I don't blame you. Okay, the brush was going okay to blend out, but it says you could use your fingertips to pat it out. So I'm just going to do that for the rest. It was almost like looking streaky because the formula is so thin. That's looking a little bit better. Yeah, I would say there's like a glow underneath my eyes. How's that coverage look? Pretty nice. I would say it's like almost a medium coverage concealer. And yeah, I am liking that glow. It does look to like it's brightening a little bit, at least that peachy light shade that I got. I'm not gonna set my entire face, but I am gonna set underneath my eyes because I already see the concealer rolling in there, which typically happens anyway, so no surprise. I'm gonna just grab my e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, you know, that's my fave, babe, and I'm just gonna set underneath the eyes and then like a little bit around the nose where I would normally see kind of rolling but the rest of the foundation should be setting fine, unless the primer makes a big difference. We'll see. Okay, don't look at my lips. They are literally peeling off in front of my eyes. Oh my goodness. But the under eye concealer, the brightening concealer looks really nice. I'm really liking that. I think it'll be a really nice concealer for when you just like wanna throw it on for that light makeup kind of day and brighten and look a little bit more awake. 
I think it's looking pretty good. I mean, we'll see how it wears, but I didn't set the rest of my face as I said. I think I am gonna go back in with my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores pressed setting powder though after we do this blush, just because I'm seeing a little bit of creaminess still around my mouth and I don't want that to start creasing throughout the day. That's not really a look I wanna go for. So I have the new e.l.f. Putty Blush in the shade Bahamas. It says it's infused with argan oil and vitamin E. Basically, this is like an extension of their putty line, which like I've said before many times on my channel, I love the Luminous Putty Primer. That stuff's really good. So this is interesting. Wait, how does it say to apply it? Use the Putty Blush Brush. Oh, I don't have that. Uh, or clean fingers, okay? To gently pat over the apples of your cheeks, blah, 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 smooth, seamless. Okay, so I can just use my hands. So I guess I will just go with a finger. Let's kind of work it in. I wonder how pigmented that's going to be. <gasps> that is really pretty. Ooh. Blushes are always so hard to pick up on camera. Let me tell you. Oh, that is blending on so nicely. I never know with like cream blushes if it's gonna like pick up the product, the foundation underneath, the concealer, but this is looking pretty good. It's so not putty-like though, almost. It feels kind of just like a cream blush. Interesting. <laughs> They might have just went with the word putty because they knew it would draw attention. Caught my attention at least. That is so cute. Mmm, mmm. Okay, I think that's it for face products. I have some eye products and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and powder a little bit around my mouth and everything. And then let's try some more stuff. Okay, so I went ahead and threw my eyebrows on, primed my eyes because I have some new eye products from e.l.f. too. I have the Liquid Metallic Shadow. I got the shade Aurora, which is a green. So this is different than their glitters. This is a metallic shadow. So I've been feeling the purple and green vibe lately. So I'm gonna throw on some purple shadow really quick. I'm just grabbing my ABH Norvina palette and I'm just gonna use the purple shades in there. But yeah, I don't know if you're following along. If you are, whatever purple shades, I guess. Okay, so let's pop open this Bebe. Same cute little container as the glitters. I love those glitters, so I have high hopes for this. Let's see a swatch of that. Oh my goodness gracious. I wish my order got here in time before the holidays because I would have been wearing that every single day. There was lots of shipping delays, but that's all right because hello, it was Christmas time and that happens. Not Elf's fault at all. My package got delayed and stuck at the FedEx facility for like, a week and a half. So I would have had this video out so much sooner for you guys. Sorry, but here we are. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go in and apply it. Oh my gosh, you guys. That is gorgeous. Holy guacamole. That is so pretty. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna need the whole collection. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm gonna have to let it dry before I put on a second layer because it is kind of wiping away, you know, as I go, but I just wanna carve out a little crease real quick and then I'll go back in and do a second layer. Okay, I let that dry down and there's no transfer, there's no creasing going on. That is freaking gorgeous. And $5, okay? I'm gonna need to seriously collect them all, like Pokemon, oh my goodness. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, let me throw on some liner really quickly. I think I need to do a darker purple here because I didn't realize how dark the green was. And then let's throw on the new mascara because I'm super curious about that and I want to find out. <laughs> okay, so this is the new Lash Out Loud Mascara, Volumizing Mascara. Oh, I just saw it's one of those like silicone-y type of brushes. I usually hate those because I always somehow manage to poke my eye. I didn't look at this, did I, when I was ordering it? Okay, weird tube. Wait, that trips me out. I'm, that looks like it's supposed to be like short and that's weird. Also a plastic container. It's a drugstore you know, elf product. I'm not surprised. Yeah, that is straight up a silicone bristle type of wand. So bear that in mind. Also wish me luck. I'm gonna curl my lashes really quickly and let's apply this. See? Always do it. Always manage to poke myself in the eye and then it goes onto the lower lash line. 
Why? Why do I do that with just these ones? Okay, here are what the lashes look like. And you know what? They look actually pretty nice. I am really liking that, but it's not my favorite mascara ever, but I think it's a nice mascara. Not crazy volumizing, but it didn't clump. So it's, it seems like you could do it really quickly and get some nice coating of the lashes without looking spidery or clumpy or anything. Um, not a lot of curl, but a little tiny bit tiny bit. Just like a nice basic mascara. I just don't like those silicone wands because I know I can't do it in a rush personally because I will poke myself in the eye, but I really do like it for the lower lash line since it wasn't clumping or anything. So I'll probably keep using it on my lower lash line for that reason, but I'll stick to my favorite CoverGirl exhibitionist on the top lashes, but no complaints of how the top lashes look. They look really nice, they do. So now I have one other thing. I don't know if this is new. No, I don't think it's new. This is a prismatic lip gloss in the shade Amethyst. And since it's purple, I figured I'd try it out. Let's let's do it. I might throw on a lippy in a second too, but let's, a different lippy, like a lipstick or something. But let's plop this on. Oh, that's pretty. What a pretty gloss. I think I got sent this for free with my purchase, actually, now that I'm remembering. Hmm. Yeah, ve oh, very sparkly. That's nice. Ooh. Yeah, I quite like that. I need a little lip liner or something, and then I'll put the gloss back on top, and then let's talk about my final opinions, my final thoughts, the CC cream versus the cosmetic CC cream, all of that. Okay, so finished all up, and here is how everything is looking, and I got some thoughts that I wanna share with you. So, first of all, <laughs> I feel like the eyes kind of stole the show. I am 100% loving this little $5 liquid shimmer highlight thingy, metallic thingies. I need to get them all. As I said before, they're not creasing. They're just fully pigmented, fully shiny, and fully amazing. So yes on this, 100%. The mascara, if you don't mind a silicone, you know, one, you might like it. The formula seems really good. I just know for me, myself and I, I, I won't be able to use this on the regular, but I can use it on the lower lash line and have a good time with it. The lip gloss is pretty nice too. It's not sticky or anything. That was kind of just like a little bonus thing, but it is nice, a little prismatic gloss. And I think those are super cheap too. And you can pick them up at wherever carries elf. But let's talk about the face complexion products. I feel like most of you guys are here for that. But like I said, the eyes kind of stole the show. So. The blush did kind of wear down a little bit. I'm not really seeing it too much. Yeah, it's just barely there. That's a problem that I have with a lot of cream style blushes is by the time I finish out my makeup, it's kind of like, where did it go? So while it applied really nicely and I feel like you could build it up and everything and it wasn't patchy and it wasn't picking up the foundation underneath, it's just not really having a long longevity to it. So I don't love that. I'll try packing a little bit more on next time that I use it and see if that helps. And I barely used any powder in that area. So I I know it wasn't the powder that took it away, you know? Then the highlighter wand, the little concealer, brightening concealer wand. Yeah, I think that'll be nice on days that I just wanna look a little bit more awake and just throw it on really quickly, but you have to set it if you have any issues ever with concealers rolling into smile lines underneath your eyes, because even still, I can see it wanting to roll underneath there. Now that I applied eyeshadow, it's fine. But before my eyeshadow, I could see it rolling underneath my eyes. And I set it also, not only with the Halo Glow originally, but I went back and repressed the pore setting powder underneath there too, because I saw it rolling and then it still rolled after that. So I don't love that, but I liked the look of it. So I might play around with that and see how it goes. Now, the foundation, the Camo CC Cream. I just wanted to dedicate a minute to talk about this. So. As we saw when I applied it yesterday, it was so matte. It's crazy what a difference the primers made with this foundation. So going in with my Good Molecule Silicone Free Primer and then my Pore Filling Primer, it looks so much better on my skin. My dry skin looks so much better. It doesn't look too matte. It does have more of a natural finish, which is what they describe it as. And I like the finish now. So that was interesting. Also applying it with a brush was so much easier. You could have a little more strength behind the blending. It was much faster. Everything went on just way, way easier. So I would totally recommend a brush. 
And I wanted to test it out all those ways, like I said, because I know some of you like to use a beauty blender, some of you like to use your finger. And if you're trying to compare it to the It Cosmetics CC creams and those foundations, you know, those ones I know a lot of people use with a sponge. So I would not recommend this one with a sponge. It's just too thick. But how do I like it on my skin overall now with the foundation brush and this different primer situation? Although I like it better than I did yesterday, it's still not a total win for me because I get like, I have a little bit of spotting on my nose that doesn't look the best. And then this side of my face looks really good, but this side for some reason, and maybe, maybe I just applied it a little differently on this side, I'm not sure. I have like more pronounced dotting on my pores, which is the opposite of what happened on this side. This is the side that I did with my fingertips yesterday and that happened. So. So that's weird. I don't know. That might have been a user error because I'm not seeing anywhere else. It does look way better around my mouth than it did yesterday. My smile lines are not as pronounced. I don't look as texturized. A little textured, but not too much. Now with all that said, this foundation is $15, which is a pricey foundation for the drugstore. It's definitely not in line with most e.l.f. products. So it's a little bit surprising. I actually was surprised when I went back to check the price. I was like, whoa, $15? <laughs> and it just feels like the tube is already looking half empty. I mean, how much is in this? Probably an ounce, like typical. It just looks like I've used a lot. But anyways, for a $15 drugstore foundation, I don't know, not obsessed with it, but I do personally like it better than the It Cosmetics CC cream. So let's talk about this because I know that there's been a lot of comparisons in the comment section and stuff when this was released of people saying, what is this? Is this going to be the new, you know, CC cream dupe? Like what's going on? Wanting to know the tea. This claims to be a full coverage cream as well as this camel one. This one claims to be full coverage. I would say it's more like a medium coverage. And I would say the same thing about this. They do seem very comparable, except for the fact that the e.l.f. CC cream is so, so much thicker than the IT Cosmetics CC cream. Like, wow. Um, but finish overall for the original seems about the same. This one, how it was yesterday with the, the primer that I used, seemed maybe more like the matte version of the CC cream. So lots of comparisons, lots of maybes, yeses, but I feel like I should say I actually don't like how the It Cosmetics CC cream looks on my skin. It just moves and shifts around and just looks not good. It just doesn't cooperate with my skin at all. This one did so much better. I would pick up this one versus the It Cosmetics any day. Yes, this is more of like a half little travel size guy, but if you like the CC cream a lot, you might wanna try this one if you don't mind that it's a little bit thicker because it's a fraction of the cost and you still get, you know, the sunscreen benefits in that one and everything. It does seem to be like a pretty close dupe. Just in my opinion, it's a better, it's a better dupe. It's a better version. I don't see as many issues with my skin as I do with the It Cosmetics. I'm planning on decluttering this one. I really don't like it. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Definitely seems like a dupe about half the price and um, you just gotta work with it, I think, and find the best primer pairing to see what works best for you. But definitely a brush is gonna be key. So if you like that you can use a sponge with this, rethink and maybe don't try the elf one. <laughs> Hopefully that gave you some clarification and helping you decide if that is a foundation that you want to try. If any of these new e.l.f. products you want to try out, let me know down in the comments below if you are planning on trying any of these out. And uh, if you have tried them, what do you think? How do you think of them? What do you feel? What are your thoughts? Because I'm just one opinion over here. And I know you guys have some thoughts and opinions on these products too. But that is it. I think I've gabbed your ear off enough. Please make sure you subscribe before you go. And if you are subscribed, make sure your bell is tapped and all notifications are turned on so you get notified when I post new videos which is three times a week all beauty and lifestyle related and all cruelty free as well and uh, yeah that's it I hope that every single one of you every single one of you have a great freaking awesome wonderful beautiful lovely happy day